So as I've been talking with my teacher friends recently and teachers that I'm coaching and remote coaching who are just now switching over to all remote teaching, they're like, Bridget, do you have tips, tricks, strategies, ideas, thoughts to help when you're teaching live online lessons? And I've got a couple that I wanna share with you today. The first one is using talk moves. A lot of our teachers like to use talk moves anyway when they're physically in the classroom with their students because talk moves are little hand gestures that you teach your students to use to show their thinking without talking. And so they're great for online lessons too because everyone can be muted and you can let one person unmute and share an answer and then everyone else can use their talk moves so everyone can be engaged and participating while they're muted. Uh, the first four that I teach them at the beginning are, the first one is an answer. This is just, I have an answer and it's just a thumbs up. So once you pose a question, if they have a thought or an idea or an answer to share, they just do a thumbs up. Another one that I teach them right away is agree. I listen to what my friend said and I agree. I'm thinking like they're thinking. Your thumb points to you and your little finger points to the screen or to the camera. Another one would be disagree. This is, I listen to my friend, and, but I have a different idea. And you just point up here, disagree. It's kind of respectfully disagree, or I have another idea. And the fourth one I teach them is add on. I listen to what my friend said. I agree with them, but I can add on a detail. And so this is add on. And I would even practice with them, have them practice using these before you actually use them in a lesson. And, and you may teach them when you're using them online, you want to, to practice you doing the gesture right in front of them. You don't want to do your agree up here out of the window or, or your add on where we can't see it. So practice using it right in front of them. Um, and and that, that may, may help with that too. And so I'm going to put a link to these to this article about talk moves from our learning resources page along with this video in case you're you're interested and you want to learn more about talk moves another strategy that i'm going to share with you is was actually something that one of our consultants shauna lansdell created their mute and unmute cards and so i just printed them out and and put them on pencils and, and you could hold them up, but they're great where when you're teaching an online lesson and you can hear one person's not muted and, and you're getting that feedback, you can just hold up your sign really quickly. And that just means everyone needs to check and make sure that you are muted. And um, it just kind of is a reminder for them. Another one would be un unmute. Like maybe you ask a question and, and somebody use their talk move with an answer and you call on them and you, you, you say, okay, that person can unmute, you know, and, and say that person's name and hold up your unmute. Um, card and then that person could unmute. So they're just great to, to use when when you need when the students maybe need a little gentle reminder for muting and unmuting. So I'm going to put a link to these if you want to print them out and use them as well because teachers are really loving these too. So hopefully these tips help you when you're switching over to remote online live lessons.